Hada, this is Mr. John Gere. I'm a tutor for accounting business that is EMS as well as research. If you're watching this, you are definitely at the right place. Please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button on your bottom right. And once you're done with that, you can definitely make sure that you share this lesson with your friends and loved ones. In today's lesson, we're going to be focusing on how to prepare the income tax paid note in the cash flow statement and i believe this is one of the easiest notes that you can do as an accounting student so as i'll be going through some of these notes as we proceed with our lessons i'm just going to try and look at the ones that you can easily end marks as accounting students so without other way let's get into the lesson um this question paper that i'm going to use specifically for this lesson is from the eastern cape it was written as a uh preparatory exam for 2021 paper one okay and then you're supposed to spend around 30 minutes on the cash flow statement but i feel like 30 minutes is a lot but for us because we are only doing one note um we will probably spend less than 10 minutes and then also i'm going to explain to you some of the strategies that you can use to be able to master this income tax paid note okay now Here's the first thing that we need to be able to check. Whenever you do this note, um, check in the answer sheet how they want you to firstly answer, okay? And then from there, what you're going to do, you're going to go to your um, balance sheets that you're given. And one of the things that is a problem uh, for most accounting students is how they compare. I noticed that most students uh, struggle with this. So whenever you do a comparison, you are moving from the current uh, bargain, the previous year to the current year, okay? So make sure that you point your arrow in the right direction. Remember that you are moving from previous year to the current year because when we do a comparison, we check what happened from last year up until now. So meaning that our starting point is always from the previous year. So your arrow should move from the previous year to the current year in that way it will make comparisons to be easy for you the first thing that you want to check is what was sars at the end of the year for the previous year was it a liability or an asset and most of the time what they're going to do they're going to give you trade and other payables note or trade and other receivables note just so that you can be able to see whether sars income tax was a liability or an asset okay now here at the beginning of the year, SARS income tax was under trade and other receivables. So which means that SARS at the beginning, according to here, was an asset. So if it's an asset, it means that SARS is an inflow. It brings money in the business. If it was a liability, it would mean that when we start the current year, we would uh, we, we would have to pay them but because now sars is an asset at the beginning of the year it means that they owe us for the current period it is when we start the year we're expecting them to firstly pay us what was overpaid by us so sars income tax at the beginning of the year um or the amount from the previous year for the uh, sars income tax was an asset so i'm seeing it from here remember previous year is this one so we can say this one is previous so that you can relate and then this one will be our current so we are going to start with this one this one we are definitely sure that um because last year we overpaid sars for income tax this year when we start the year they are going to have to reimburse us so which means that it will be a plus it will be an inflow in the books of the business so we're going to have sars income tax in the answer sheet as a plus you can just write twenty nine thousand three hundred as a positive because remember what is happening is that um you are receiving money from sars so hence it can be a negative sign okay now the next thing that you're going to need also is the amount from the income statement this information will mostly come through adjustments or they will give you an inst an, an extract of the income statement for the income tax this income tax we are definitely sure that it is paid so what we do we automatically put it 
as a minus or in brackets because you are really supposed to pay this this is your expense for this year and it's supposed to be an outflow of cash because that's what sars is expecting to get from you remember you make um two provisional payments uh separated by six months each so this one automatically the income tax amount from the uh, income statement it's supposed to be a minus okay so you're going to put minus four hundred and twenty eight thousand uh, eight hundred so it's a minus four hundred and twenty eight thousand eight hundred and then you are going to get a mark here and also a mark here so which means we already have two marks now and then from there you go and check or what else can you be able to use from there you are also going to need the status of sars uh, income tax at the end of this current year is it a liability or is it an asset so we are going to check sars income tax where is it here it is and then it is under trade and other payables if it is um if sars is an uh, it is a liability it will mean that it is a plus to us why because we did not pay them we kept the money in the business so there was no outflow of cash hence it makes sense for sars income tax when it's a liability at the end of the current year uh, in the cash flow statement for sars to become um, a plus an inflow of cash if it is a liability at the end of the year why because there was no outflow of money remember we are owing these people so we did not pay them that thirty three thousand one hundred, and then so we are going to add to what we have here so it's going to be plus um thirty three thousand one hundred, and then you're going to also get a mark for this but i will advise you as an accounting student to say know your notes by heart remember the information says that balance at the beginning of the year which is the amount from the previous year which will be this one 29,300 and then it will then say um income tax which is the amount from the um income statement which will be your income tax amount and then from there it will say balance at the end of the year and then the product or the sum of the two whatever whether you are adding or subtracting whatever that you're going to get will give you the final answer which will be the total income tax paid so let's see we are going to what we are going to do is that we are going to take 128,000 since is the one that is the bigger sign okay because most learners have a problem when it comes to uh, this um cash flow notes automatically when i say income tax paid i'm expecting to see an outflow of cash in my notes okay so automatically we know that the answer that we are going to put is going to be in brackets why because we are paying now we're going to take the income tax from uh the, the income statement which is 428,800 and then from there remember this one is supposed to have a negative sign but what we can do we can just since th this other two are the same we can just take this one uh normal and then we subtract the the two and then the answer that we get we'll put it in brackets it will still be the same thing so 428,800 um we minus um let's check the first amount we minus 29,300 um, and then we also subtract 33,100 it will then give us the total taxation paid for the for the year that we are in this is what we are going to reflect 366,400 this is what we are going to show um in the cash flow statement under the taxation paid the final amount that we have will be 366,400 so accounting students this is one of the simplest adjustments that you can do as an accounting student make sure that you practice all these notes because the likelihood is that you are not going to do a fully fleshed or a complete cash flow statement but rather they'll want you to do some notes so it will be an advantage for you if you know all the notes because you know that when it's like this if they ask you to do a smaller note then you'll still get your marks you have nothing to lose if you want me to explain accounting much more better to you um through an individualized or a personalized lesson you can use the details 
that are available in the description of this lesson or video please don't forget to share this with your friends and loved ones and thank you very much for watching our short lesson for today may god richly bless you shalom